Hi, welcome to the Crafts Channel. My name's Corinne Brad, and today I've got another idea for you to make something else with your plastic waste. Um, we've got plastic everywhere. It's very difficult to live a life without plastic. Believe me, I've tried. But if you can turn what you would normally chuck in the bin into something that you might keep for another five years, then do it. Now, I've made some little flowers here. These are little plastic chrysanthemums. They're made with magazine um, front covers. Normally, if you buy a magazine with a free gift on it, you'll have a beautifully printed blag. But if you open it carefully, you can actually give yourself a decent, usable piece of material. So, quite simply, cut yourself a strip about, I'd say, eight centimetres wide. I'm going to do this with a rotary cutter because it's quick and easy. Like so. Sorry, I've just cut the top of that hippo's head. So you've got a strip like this. Now if you then fold it in half lengthways, and it's a little bit tricky because plastic is slippery by its very nature. Fold it in half again that way and then concertina fold it back, like so. And grab a bulldog clip and just hold those edges in check with a bulldog clip. And then if you get a decent pair of scissors, now these are my fabric scissors, but it's okay because I'm not using them on paper. What you can then do is using the bulldog clip as a guide so you don't um, go into this raw edge, clip the folded edge several times into about, oh I'd say, four or five millimeter wide strips. Not strips, a fringe. You don't have to be particularly accurate. Once your flower is made, you won't notice if one petal is bigger than another. So chop them like this. Remove the bulldog clip. Oh, I think I may have chopped a petal in half there. So you've got a long strip of bobbly fringing. Get yourself a needle and thread and you want a long enough, I've used a double thread so it doesn't break, you want it long enough for the width of your magazine and uh, just so that I can see where I'm actually sewing. If you start at one end keeping it sewn like this and just running stitch along the bottom edge, where the two raw edges of the plastic meet. Like so. And as you're sewing, just gather it up very gently. Don't gather it really, really tight because it will make it difficult to roll. But gather it up gently so that what you achieve, in true Blue Peter style, is a stitched length. And oh, no, I actually need this needle. Like so. So say gather it up fairly gently. And secure your thread with a couple of stitches through the end. Like so. And then what you can do is you can begin to roll your gathered fringe. And every now and again, just run that needle through the middle of the, oh, through the middle of the coil to keep it all in place. And as the plastic gets thicker, you will find it more difficult to get the needle through the coil. Don't be tempted to use your fingertip because sometimes it really hurts when the uh, eye end of the needle goes through your finger. So I'd press it down on a cutting mat personally. And you just need a few stitches to keep that secure. And just, oh, look, I've run out of. It. 
and just overlap it like this. Now this looks really messy. I know it looks really messy. It's absolutely fine. Trim away your excess thread and you've got a rather loose chrysanthemum. So if you grab a piece of florist wire and bend it in half, get a piece of um, like sticky glue. I uh, use this Gutterman HT2 textile glue for virtually everything now. It is a fabric glue, but it works on everything. Something breaks in the house, quick, where's the fabric glue? Um, just poke that in the middle there. Through the middle of your croissant. And then get yourself some really loud green yarn. This is the loudest green I could find. Just gonna put a knot in there. And tie this around the bottom of your chrysanthemum. Oh, she says. Tie it like that. Wrap it a couple more times and tie it again to secure it, to keep the bottom of your flower really tight and also keep the wire in place as well. And once you've done that, you can begin to wrap the bottom of your flower Wrap it down. This is the point where the ball of roll, ball of wool rolls off the table, escapes over the other side of the studio. Just keep wrapping. And what you can do is you can enclose that raw end as you're doing so. Once you reach the end, this is why I leave a loop in the uh, bottom of my stem, because it makes it much easier to tie off the wrapped yarn rather than trying to tie it sort of to itself. And you don't have to make these croissants on wire if you don't wish to. You know, if you've got um, a project where you just want to hot glue some flowers to something just to make it look a bit different, then you can still wrap the bottom with yarn, but just omit the wire. There we go. And then tuck, oh, foolishly I haven't got a darning needle to hand, but you would tuck that raw end back inside the stem to neaten it. And then just fluff out your petals. Now, if you're lucky enough to have plastic bags that have coordinated colours of printing on them, then that's fantastic. But use what you can find around the house. Please don't go out and go, oh, I like that green plastic bag. I'm going to buy it just so I can cut it up to make a flower with it. That defeats the purpose of the whole thing about cutting down on your waste. But you can make something that, even if you put them top on, on top of a present, as a topper for a present, it's just got at least one extra use out of that plastic bag that you would normally put in the bin. So quite a quick demo for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the idea and uh, you will decorate your entire house with plastic chrysanthemums this Christmas. And um, we will see you next time. Cheers. If you've been inspired to create, please share your makes with us in the comments section below. And if you've enjoyed videos by The Crafts Channel, hit the like button. Want to see more of us? Then click subscribe. See you next time.